In this video, I want to talk about the difference between the frequentist and Bayesian views on probability. And the example I'm going to talk about is the example of flipping a coin. So the idea here is that we assume that we have a coin and on one of its sides we've got a head and the other side we've got a tail. And the question which we want to answer is what is the probability of getting a head? So the probability of a head. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare the frequentist view with that of the Bayesian view on probability. So starting off with the frequentist view, what we can sort of think about is we can think about the probability of a head as representing the relative frequency of, in this case, a head, getting a head, if we were to flip the coin a sort of long number of times, a long sort of series of what we are going to call identical flips. And we're going to explain what identical means in a minute. So yeah, we can imagine that in the sort of frequentist view, we are flipping the coin a large number of times, perhaps an infinite number of times. And then what we're doing is we're sort of counting the number of heads and we're dividing that through by the total number of throws. So in this example, what we're assuming is we're assuming that the data um, actually are a random sample and the data are free to vary. The things that are fixed in the frequentist case are the parameters. And what do we actually mean by the parameters being fixed? And what do we actually mean by identical flips in the first place? Because surely if we were to have our coin and it was above a table and we had a certain orientation of that coin to the table and perhaps a certain distance away from that particular point on the table, then if we were to repeat this process exactly, then surely, because the system is in itself deterministic, we would actually get a certain value coming out of that coin every single time. So already we can see that we're running into some issues with the frequentist view of probability in that what do, exactly do we mean by identical flips? Perhaps we could define identical a little bit more loosely and just say, well, perhaps if we kept the coin a certain distance above the table and we're free to vary the orientation of the coin to the table. But already we're getting into the sort of subjective view as to what exactly do we mean by identical. OK, so that's the sort of frequentist view of probability. Let's now think about what the Bayesian approach is. So in the Bayesian approach, what we would say is that the probability of head is equal to the number of heads divided through by the total number of possibilities. And this definition assumes that all possibilities are equally likely. OK, but what do I actually mean by a possibility and what do I mean by the number of heads in this example? Well, what we could do is we could think about all the different orientations of the coin to the table. So we imagine this sort of angle here, theta, and we imagine this sort of distance here, d. And we could imagine sort of enumerating each of these different sort of angles and each of these different distances. And what we could then do is we could look at the forces on the coin and combine those with, as we said, the initial conditions. So that's the orientation of the coin to the table as well as the distance above the table. And what we could do is we could think about for each of those particular initial conditions, what would be the value which will actually show up on the coin. And this would be based on the forces. So the total number of possibilities here just represents the total number of initial conditions. And the number of heads here just represents, well, what is the sort of frequency of heads? Well, what is the total number of heads which actually come out for across all of the different possibilities here? So in this example, what we assume is we assume that the data is fixed. So what do I mean by the data being fixed? Well, I mean that if we have a certain initial condition, then the value we get out on the coin is always going to be exactly the same. The reason that we actually do get a variance of the sort of value of the coin, the reason we get you know some heads and some tails, is because the parameters vary. And so what we actually have here is that the probability here doesn't represent a long run frequency, it represents a kind of uncertainty. And in this example, the uncertainty is over the initial conditions. Because we don't know the initial conditions exactly, this means that we have some underlying uncertainty as to what value is going to come up on the coin. And note that the Bayesian view of probability doesn't rely on this sort of series of Im an infinite number of samples from our population. 
And whilst it's okay to think about there being an infinite number of samples from a population uh, in the case of coin flipping, because we can, in theory, flip it an infinite number of times, we are going to see in other examples that this definition, this frequentist view of probability, actually runs into some issues. So just to conclude, in the frequentist view, the data vary and the parameters are fixed. I didn't write that before. In the Bayesian view, in the Bayesian view, the data are fixed and it is the parameters that vary. So actually, in the Bayesian case, the probability of a head actually has a probability distribution.